Hi everyone, I wanted to address a few questions that I've gotten regarding how you present your speech, whether you are reading it from your outline, and how you factor in the outline versus your notes. So first things first, um, most of the speeches that you do in this class will be extemporaneous. Extemporaneous is a fancy way of saying that you deliver your speech with minimal note cards, and that ensures that you make good eye contact with your audience members. So uh, when you speak extemporaneously, you have a few notes in front of you, but you have practiced your speech enough times, I recommend 10 to 20, that you are familiar with the content, you're familiar with the order, and you are not necessarily staying exactly true to what you've written on your outline, but you're getting the main points across in about the approximate order. It also ensures that you're more conversational, it's a little less formal and stiff feeling, and then one of the advantages of it is that you are able to read your audience. Obviously, for this first one, you're reading it to a webcam, as I'm, or presenting it to a webcam, as I'm doing here. But in future speeches where you actually have people in front of you, it allows you a little bit more freedom to explain things if they need explaining, to slow down or speed up in certain areas, and it just it connects you with your audience better. Uh, I think we've all been in situations where we witness somebody presenting something and they're either reading it to us and there's no passion or life there, or it feels more formal or stiff, um, or somebody who has memorized something and maybe they, they mess up because they missed a word and then it throws everything off. So when you write your rough draft, you're using an outline template usually, and you're writing everything out that you imagine saying. After you have done that and then gotten some feedback and make some revisions, you will hand in to me that final draft. And that is what I use to grade your content. So that's how I see that you have an attention getter, your thesis statement is strong, you've previewed your main points, you have two to three main points that you cover and they're about the same length, you have transitions between everything, and then your conclusion restates everything, leaves us with a final closing thought and a sense of finality. That's how I grade the content. However, you do not read the outline to us, and I don't want you to have the outline in front of you when you're presenting, because if you have it in front of you, you are going to be likely to read it, and then you're going to be looking down at your sheet of paper and not at your camera or your audience. So what you're going to do is take that outline and then make note cards from it. So note cards can be the traditional, you know, four by six, five by seven, however long you want to make them. Uh, pieces of paper if you want to fold a piece of paper in half, or you can take one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, bullet point it out with, with um, bullets, and bump up the font so that you can easily see it. But it shouldn't be everything that you've written in your speech in front of you, because again, if it's there, you're much more likely to read it, and that decreases your eye contact, it de decreases your engagement, and it's not extemporaneous. You're basically then just presenting a, a manuscript speech, which is not what I want you to do. So make sure that you use your outline, so basically your rough draft of your, uh, of your speech, use that to make your note cards, and then use your note cards to practice your speech. Don't use your outline to practice your speech, because again, you're striving for that extemporaneous delivery that ensures increased engagement and better eye contact with your audience. I hope that helps. Happy practicing, and if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.